Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a first impressions of two products that I purchased the other day and it is the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser and Pond's Cold Cream Makeup Remover. I would say that the true test for me with this makeup remover is to see how well it will be able to break down all my eye makeup. So right now I actually have a full face of makeup on. So quickly reading the directions, it says to massage into skin and wipe away with a washcloth or a cotton pad. And as you can see, the consistency of this uh, makeup remover almost looks kind of like a moisturizer. So if I didn't know it was a makeup remover, I would honestly just think it was regular lotion. So with minimal effort, I actually realized that it is doing an amazing job with removing a lot of my eye makeup. And the biggest sell for me is that my eyes are not burning and it is not causing any irritation around my eyes. And a product that I have used in the past that I have mentioned in a favorites video before is the Ren Rosa Centifolia Cleansing Balm. And it actually caused my eyes to burn so much. Although it did an amazing job with removing my makeup and I really loved the product itself, I want to say that it was probably the fragrance that was really irritating and this cold cream is actually fragrance free so I wonder if that has any factor into why my eyes are not burning. So after wiping all the excess product, I then rinsed my face with water and just towel dried it to see if there was any excess film or residue left on my skin, which there was. And I personally cannot go to bed with that since I have been breaking out lately. And I'm going to go in with this new CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I have never tried this before, so it's going to be new for me and hopefully it works out. So I'm definitely trying to be a little bit more cognizant about the products that I am applying to my skin. Obviously, you guys know that I use makeup, I use concealers, and I'm pretty sure those do clog my pores, but with the right cleansers and skincare, I think I can really get deep down in, in there and remove any of the excess makeup to not irritate my skin. But I've been trying to go fragrance-free for a lot of my skincare products now, and uh, according to this, it actually says that it cleanses and removes oils without disrupting the protective skin barrier. And I'm trying to really be more aware and learn my skin a little better. And because I've been breaking out, I'm trying not to use anything that would be more irritating to my skin.
So like every face wash that is out there, I do feel a bit of freshness that comes with washing my face. And I don't have any of that excess residue that's left from the cold cream on my face. However, using this, I actually feel like I am not as dry as some face wash washes out there tend to make me feel. So I definitely feel squeaky clean, but without the intense dryness. So, in conclusion, these two new products did not disappoint me on the first try and I'm definitely going to continue to use them for the rest of the month. I'm now going to go in with my Cetaphil moisturizer all over my face and then following along with my different acne treatment gel. Okay guys, so that includes my very first first impressions video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!